Uh, hello, everybody. I'll, I'm Dr. Manali Mutha, junior resident in the Department of Radio Diagnosis, Dr. Vithal Rao VK Patil Foundation Medical College and Hospital Ahmednagar. I will be presenting a paper on assessment of blunt abdominal trauma through CT imaging, a comprehensive, a comprehensive review. Uh, the aim of this uh, aim of this study is to study the case of abdominal trauma in context of age or sex distribution, mm -hmm. mode of injury, that is accident, fall, assault, etc., clinical presentation, role of investigation, organ involvement, and associated injuries. The third most pre uh, prevalent cause of mortality, regardless of age, it's still trauma. Clinical findings are often unreliable and have low sensitivity for diagnosis of intraperitoneal injuries following blunt, blunt trauma. Ultrasound may be used as an initial diagnostic modality for suspected blunt abdominal trauma. CT is accurate in detection and quantification of hemoperitoneum and more sensitive in detection of solid organ injury, which is useful in management of most patients. Helical CT is the best diagnostic modality in providing information at the same time it takes for a complete US, uh, USG abdomen. CT is the sole modality for hemodynamically stable patients with blunt abdominal trauma or patient who stabilizes after initial re uh, resuscitation. CT has become imaging of choice in patients with blunt abdominal trauma due to high accuracy in abdominal visceral injuries and retroperitoneal injuries in hemodynamically stable patients. Materials and method, the study of a 50 cases of blunt abdominal trauma was conducted prospectively during the period of seven months from December 2022 to June 2023 in Dr. Vithal Rao Vikhe Patil Foundation's Medical College and Hospital, Ahmednagar. Patients of all age and sex who were referred to a our department after blunt abdominal trauma were potential candidate for enrollment in this study. The inclusion criteria included clinical suspicions of intra-abdominal injury, hemodynamically stable patients, multi-trauma patients. The inclusion criteria was a clinical suspicions of intra-abdominal injury, hemodynamically stable and multi-trauma patients. Exclusion was all, death, uh, all deaths on arrival. Uh, Philips 16 slice uh, CT, was, uh, CT machine was used. The technique was CCT abdomen was performed with Philips 16 slice CT equipment for intravenous contrast enhancement. Non-ionic water soluble iodinated contrast iohexol was given in the dose of 1 ml per kg. A pitch of 2 and a reconstruction interval of 1.5 to 2 mm were used as the scanning technique. For few cases, unenhanced study was done prior to the contrast study with delayed incorporated whenever there was a suspicious kidney or urinary tract injury. Individual organ injuries were graded according to the American Association for the Surgery of Trauma Injury Scale. The results are, first, the age by distribution. Uh, in, in less than 10 years, there was uh, only one case was recorded from 11 to 27. From 21 to 30, 20 cases were recorded. From 31 to 40, 16. And from 41 to 53 cases, from 51 to 62 cases were recorded. And from uh, for the age more than 60 years, uh, a single case was recorded. So the maximum cases were recorded in the age group of 21 to 30 and 31 to 40 years. Uh, this is the sex-wise distribution, uh, which shows that uh, there was a male predominance as compared to the female. The male accounting for the 84% and the female accounting for only 16%. Uh, the mode of injury, first, the road traffic accident, uh, they, they were maximum. That was about 56%, followed by... Uh, fall, which was 22%, and then assault, 18%, and the least common were the road traffic accident. Uh, this is the other bar, uh, bar diagram showing the mode of injury. The clinical presentation uh, were considered, in, uh, the clinical presentation, presentation that were considered were abdominal pain, abdominal distension, vomiting, hypotension, that was systolic BP less than 100, tachycardia, that is pulse more than 100, hematuria, breathlessness, and chest pain. The number of cases uh, maximum uh, had the complaint of abdominal pain and then um, then as well as tachycardia followed by hypo uh, followed by abdominal distension and hypertension uh, the similar bi diagram showing that maximum uh, people presented with abdominal pain and tachycardia and then the abdominal distension uh, this this is a bar uh, the pie chart showing the organ involvement the single organ involvement for maximum that was 64% and that of the uh, multiple organ injury was 28% and no organ injury was 8%. Then the distribution uh, with the uh, with hemoperitoneum, the visceral injuries with hemoperitoneum were 34, without hemoperitoneum were 3 and isolated only hemoperitoneum without any injury were 9. The distribution of visceral injuries, uh, for the maximum uh, visceral injury that were observed was spleen that were 24, followed by liver that were 14 and then renal. 
then the ct grading of the solid organ was done that was a grade 1 2 3 4 5 on the basis of the american association uh, of the trauma then the associated injuries were also noted the maximum associated injuries were with the extremity the followed by the thoracic uh, thoracic and this is the axial and the coronal city showing hypodense areas in the hypodense areas in the spleen, which are consistent with the splenic laceration, uh, the NCCT and the CECT showing the capsular hematoma in the spleen, the uh, CT showing a hypodense area in the head of the pancreas, and the subsequent CT scan revealed the presence of a sotosis formation of the in the head of the pancreas. This is the CECT showing irregular linear low attenuating area in the liver consistent with the lacerations, and the CT uh, showing the grade two renal injury. The disc uh, discussion, the difficulty in imaging abdominal trauma is to distinguish between injuries that need immediate surgical intervention and those that may be treated conservatively. In this study, the youngest patient was 8 year old and the oldest was 65 year old. The abdominal trauma is more common in age group of 21 to 30, that was about 40% and followed by 32% in, uh, in the age range 31 to 40 years. RTA being the most common cause followed by the fall fault and assault. A fall and assault. Abdominal pain, tachycardia, and abdominal distension are the most common clinical features in all abdominal pain, abdominal trauma patients. Presence of these signs and symptoms warrants immediate attention, prompt primary association, and timely definitive treatment of abdominal trauma. In my study pattern of injury, uh, the pattern of injury are spleen for is the most common followed by the liver in polytrauma patients. Abdominal trauma is more commonly associated with extremity injuries. Uh, these are my references.